Hello everyone and welcome to another wee quick shot video. This one here is uh, Liz Truss blaming Dover Gridlock on French authorities. What a surprise, eh? What a surprise. Because we seem to be seeing this a lot, don't we? A lot of passing the buck, especially with government bodies. So I'm gonna, I'm just gonna play the video, it's only about 30 seconds long. What do you make of the chaos at Dover? Has that been caused by Brexit? Well, the fact is that the French authorities have not put enough people on the border. And I'm in touch with the French authorities. Oh, are you? We mad Lizzie for England, our soon-to-be fearless leader. It's all, it's all the French you spoke. So we're we just going to go blame the French now. Aye, it's all them. It's funny how uh, we're not seeing anything but the French panicking on their borders. I bet they're all chill. I bet they're just sitting there waiting. They're like... Any day now, any day now, the tourists are coming, the tourists are coming, any day now. They're probably sitting, sitting on their horns right now, because of our government. Got to love that they passed the buck like that. Got to love it. Got to, fuck's sake, man, it's like children, aren't it? He did it, she did it, it wasn't me, I wouldn't do that, I'm not lying. That's what, it seems as if we're just looking at primary school children and arguing it. They are crayons, they are colouring books. It's mental. But she's straight in there. Like the vicious beast she is. Oh, it's not your fault. Oh, it's got nothing to do with us. We're on point. Our protocols, our regulations, everything's on tip-top shape right now. I'm very clear that we need to see action from them to resolve the terrible situation that people are facing. What terrible situation? The terrible situation you placed your people in when you demanded that we become independent for the, for the EU? stuff like that like the fuck did you honestly think this was going to work straight away for you did you think you had a, a bulletproof stab proof plan that was just going to like rolling out a rug it was just that simple like are you nuts are you, are you fucking crazy Liz I mean you got to be if you've got a sociopathic leader like Boris Johnson you got to be a bit in the nut but the fact she jumps straight in and blames people they didn't choose Brexit. The French didn't do, ch didn't choose Brexit. The French didn't turn around and go, you know what? Fuck yes, you're getting it. Here's your Brexit. We're off others. Did they fuck? They turned around and they all tried to warn us. They were like, listen, you want to go, you go. We're not going to stop you, but um, you might need to think about this. Just take a wee thought on what, what potentially could happen in this scenario of you leaving the comforts of a union. We've got the same internally. I know this is the problem. Like... Brexit really put everybody, split everybody down the middle. So it did. It really drove a wedge between the masses. And it's only made worse by our fearless leader. <laughs> I say that the same tone as I say Boris. Nicola Sturgeon with her second attempt at this referendum. It's wrong place, wrong time. Wrong place, wrong time, man. We as a world, okay, shit's about to go down. I warn that we're going into a lockdown. We're going to be thrust right back in. August, September, that's when the talks will start. Monkeypox is making the rounds right now, apparently. So that'll be the next fear. This will all get blown air. This will all get blown air. The same as when they try to force us with fast food to take poisonous jabs or duds. It's not going to work. It's not going to work. We're not that fucking dumb. This is a situation that has been caused by a lack of resource at the border. Your and that border. is what the French authorities need to address. Again, back to the... Oh, it's, oh, it's always the French authorities, and it's always the other side that cops the blame. Again, I don't see any footage, any news outlets talking about how f France's borders to Britain are, are like buckling. There's nothing. There's no talk about it. Why? Because it's on our side. It's our side that have got the problem. It's our side that created the problem. And it's our side that refused to fix that problem. Why can't people get it in their fucking heads? These people do not care about us. They don't care about you. They don't care about any apart from their self. They do not care. Self-centred leaders we've appointed. And it's only going to get worse. This is, this is our, our next potential leader of the UK. And she's standing right there fucking lying like a child blaming the opposite blaming the other side for our problems and that is what i am being very clear with them about 
So there we go. 30 seconds of fucking lies and nonsense. It's nuts. This is only going to increase the closer we get to that. To the, the votes coming in. To who's going to become the next Prime Minister. They're all doing it for brownie points. It's brownie points all round. Uh, Liz is causing a lot of trouble. As it is. Opening our mouth like that. That's really going to put a wedge between us and France. And we've been good pals for decades. Our countries, these countries have been best of pals. We were at war together. We backed each other up. So we did. Uh, what happened? I can tell you. Selfishness. Selfishness and this need to, to feel superior. It's horrible. It's poisonous. It's a poisonous mindset to be in. That's who our fearless leaders. I hope you are all proud of who you're voting in and who you voted in and what you voted for because you're going to reap what you sow. I can proudly sit here and say I didn't vote for any of that because look what it's done. We could have told you that before they'd done it. But anyways, I hope you all enjoyed. Go check out my TikTok, Boomer Bronson 2.0. You'll find all my latest updates and such. I hope you have a cracking day and remember, stand tall, stand proud. Catch you all later.